Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another unboxing video. This one I am super, super excited for. I have been literally waiting for this deck for like a year. Um, <clears throat> I pre-ordered this and everything. So this is the Dark Wood Tarot by Sasha Graham and art is by Abigail Larson. So I was drawn to this deck specifically because of the concept and the artwork. The artwork reminds me of Disney animation and the um, animation from that movie, uh, Anastasia. Uh, I, I'm probably dating myself with that reference, but um, anywho. <laughs> This is published by Llewellyn. This is a little bit more of an expensive deck. This is $31.99. So I'm curious to see, um, you know, why the price tag is a little bit higher by a couple dollars than what the normal decks this range are. Um, so it is a 78 card deck and 304 page full color guidebook. So that's exciting. And we're gonna go ahead and read what the back says. Entering the wood is easy. Leaving is a different matter. How will you emerge? Dare to enter the dark wood and discover your shadow self with this enthralling Rider weight Smith, thank you, style deck. As you take on the role of a witch traversing the wood, each magnificent card becomes a, a vision of deep wisdom that guides you to a richer understanding of yourself. Examine secret desires and shadowy dreams. Explore the unknown recesses of your psyche. This captivating deck and full color companion book will lead you through the darkness and into the light that reflects your hidden talents and personal power. All right, so this hinges, so let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, ooh, look, I am in love already. This art is nice. All right, ribbon, yay. So here's the book and then, oh, oh, look at that. So that's the back, dark wood. All right, let's put you aside for a second. Okay, so before I get into the cards, let's kind of go through the book real fast because it is full color. And then I just want to see, oh, Luke, what's in there? Yoda, only what you take with you. All right, <laughs> kind of love it already. So let's see if there's any particulars that we need to look at before going into the deck. So we have, all uh, righty, about reading it lots of information. Okay. And then tarot spreads and then the, um, meaning of the cards. This is kind of like a storybook. Okay. Um, the darkwood tarot is a traditional tarot, but it arrives at your fingertips with an extra dose of delicious darkness. The darkwood tarot is a shadow tarot deck. A shadow deck requires you to examine hidden aspects of the psyche during a reading. It is designed to guide you into uncharted territory you may not have explored in a traditional tarot reading. Shadow work is challenging. It is not for the faint of heart. You'll require a heavy dose of bravery and a commitment to truth if you keep reading. Shadow work is the exploration of the repressed, unconscious, un often frightening aspects of our personality. Illumination into the dark part of our psyche makes way for self-awareness. It can bring clarity and joy while often unleashing a personal power because it takes effort to repress, hide, and ignore elements of the self. Negativity, hatred, and jealousy contain tsunami springs of life force. This energy is called chi in Chinese culture, mana in Polynesian culture, and prana in Sanskrit. Energy is energy. It is neither good nor bad. It just is. Claim your power and use it to enhance all areas of your life. So the shadow witch is the embodiment of you, the reader. She travels through the dark wood as the fool. The fool shadow witch is your key to unlocking this tarot. Follow her through the major arcana like you would a character in a film. To journey as the shadow witch does not mean you are a literal sorceress who casts spells or a witch uh, practicing the Wiccan religion. Voodoo or hoodoo, although you might be. The word witch describes the supernatural part of who you are. She is the invisible you. The shadow witch is your intuition and instinct. The shadow witch is the awareness behind your eyes, looking out and experiencing the world. All right. So basically it just tells you that this is nor light nor dark. Um, and that this is specifically a uh, deck for shadow work. So we can, you, uh, if you want this deck, you can go through and read all of it. I won't do that for you. Um, so then let's just go through this real quick. 
tips for reading, go with your instinct, uh, tips for deeper readings, the shadow self, shadow meanings in tarot. So there's the reversals and then um, talking about the book of shadows. Perfect. And then how to use. Okay, there is a lot of information here. Okay, so um, it's kind of awesome. Here's your spreads. So we have the sh one card, the shadow self, the daily problem, awaken inner magic, soulmate spread, energetic spread, hindsight, insight, foresight, and then we get to the um, meanings of each card here. Okay. So sorry, but I just want to make sure you're getting the information you need in order to um, get the full experience of the deck before you buy. So much like a lot of the Llewellyn decks that are in this kind of packaging, the size and the feel of the cards are much the same. So my, uh, my uh, comparison is always going to be the Everyday Witch Tarot. This is very much the same size and the same card thickness and it is the same kind of glossy texture. So here we go. We've seen the back. It's very much um, giving me, uh, uh, oh my gosh, Tim Burton. <laughs> I'm like, who's the director I love? Tim Burton uh, vibes here. Okay, and here is the Shadow Witch. So already I'm loving the artwork here. As above, so below. They feel really good in the hand. Love it. <laughs> Remembering some of the, the dialogue from that movie, The Witch. Very interesting. The guidebook is going to be a very fun read, I think. Fun as in the sense of it's not going to be like a normal deck reading. I love it. Yeah, okay, so I urge you, if you haven't already, to go watch um, like the Don Bluth animated film, so like The Secret of Nim. Um, I believe Anastasia was a Don Bluth, but I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But um, this animation totally, or this illustration reminds me of that animation so much. It's a neat death card actually. And this is giving me legend vibes. <laughs> oh man, I am a really, I'm really loving this deck. I'm super excited. And yeah, shadow work is really hard. I don't really like doing it myself um, because you have to face your demons. You have to face, you know, uh, all the things that you've, you know, kind of put in the back of your mind. So this deck is definitely bringing out those wow so there is a border but it's not um obstructing the illustration at all which is really nice okay here we go with the minor arcana gorgeous absolutely stunning artwork Okay, I really, I really love this version of the Four of Wands. Is This deck is dark, but it's a good dark. I think the way the animation is styled, it's not super threatening. But it is dark, definitely.
Yeah. Um, oh, the other movie, um, The Swan Princess. Um, I'm really, really dating myself here, but check that out if this is the kind of illustration and the animation that you're into because they're very similar to me. At least that's what I'm getting here. So it might be why I enjoy this deck so far because those movies have a darkness to them and um, it explores it explores the darkness a little bit more than um, Disney would. Disney puts a soft focus film on a lot of it um, whereas the Don Bluth it's kind of like really in your face. Correct me if you feel differently, but um, at least to me, that's the vibe I'm getting here. And I really do enjoy this deck. I really feel like if you're into shadow work, you'd love this. If you're into the more um, dark and kind of twisted, you would love this. Um, again, this is probably not for your everyday reading of your everyday tarot reading. Um, but unless you enjoy this kind of um, um, energy and feel. So it's up to you as far as how you would like to use this, but this specifically is for um, more of a shadow work than your everyday, you know, client base. So keep that in mind as well. This is absolutely stunning. I love, love, love the art. It's not super glossy either. Like I feel like it's a decent, um, a, de a decent coating. It's not terrible. <clears throat> All right, sword. Oh, I love this. Okay. Spider there. Yeah, definitely not for the the everyday use uh, if you're if you're using this for clients. At least in my opinion. Oh, why are we upside down? Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me fix this. Okay, well. It's interesting. I love the muted like gray scale tones here. I love it. It just sets the tone for the deck. I love this. Snow white trees. <laughs> Oh, they're apples. Did, did I just completely miss that? I did. They're apple slices, like when you slice an apple in half to get that star. How perfect is that for uh, the earth suit? Ooh. Wow. Very, very interesting deck. I think the closest thing I have to the feel of this deck is the Tarot of Haunted House, but that's like a way different energy for me. It's more heavy and it's more um, uh, haunting. I guess that would be a fitting word for Tarot of Haunted House. Um, and then there you go. So this doesn't feel um, scary or it doesn't evoke um, terror or anything like that. What it does is it really makes you focus on like the, the shadow part of yourself, the things that you would not necessarily want to look at every day. Um, the, the unpretty things of yourself, the, um, the demons, I should say, that we hide about ourselves. Um, so it kind of forces you to look at it, but in a way, in like a gentle way. Does that make sense? 
And as always, they shuffle beautifully. Um, so yeah, I don't see this as a terrifying or scary deck or a heavy, heavy deck like I do the Tarot of Haunted House um, or the, yeah, the Tarot of Haunted House. Um, that deck to me is not a deck I use all the time just because it's such a heavy, heavy um, deck for me personally. Um, like the imagery that it evokes is very... Um, uh, threatening in a way for me. Uh, it's just a very heavy deck. So I use it for specific situations, right? This deck would probably be the same for you all. For me, um, this is probably going to be more of a personal deck that I use um, when I am trying to work through some things, you know, basically shadow work, right? So, um, you know, I don't have a problem with this at all. It's more gentle. Um, it kind of makes you look at things um, like what you're you're dealing with in a more genteel manner where you can stomach it a little bit better. I hope this is making sense because shadow work is never, never easy. Like I said, I hate doing it, um, but I'm going to read the justice. Um, I hate doing it, but it's imperative if you want to work through some of your um, faults, some of your anxieties. Um, it's it, it is helpful um uh it's just something that i don't particularly enjoy doing and it shouldn't be something that you enjoy doing because it's supposed to uh um work through those problems right it's supposed to create another avenue to work through it so with this deck it might be a little bit easier for you guys to do so so what we're going to do is we're going to see how justice is read in the guidebook Okay, I know this is a little bit more of a longer video, but um, I just, I wanna make sure you guys are getting a picture on what the deck is and how to use it because sometimes um, we don't get to uh, go through that enough, right? Okay, so here we go. Justice is the archetype of the law. What you do to others, you do to yourself. Mm -hmm. The shadow witch set the wheel of fortune spinning and now moves through the wood with crystal clear intention. The hermit has explained karma to the witch. The hermit revealed that karma is the infused magic of responsibility, that which keeps universal order. What we put out into the world is what comes back to us. This is how each of us determines our fate and sets the course for our destiny. The shadow witch was told to find justice and she recognizes the scales of balance. Justice traditionally reflects the glue of law and order with social, moral, ethical, and safety codes. Justice takes on a deeper meaning inside the dark wood. It is the moment of personal truth. The work and effort you put into a project or situation is what is returned to you. Justice allows no shortcuts, lies, or deception, I'm assuming. Yeah, deceptions. She holds the sword of truth. It will see the heart of the matter and the tenor of all souls. Two kneeling maidens are blindfolded. They can remove their blindfolds once they claim the role and responsibility for the actions, thoughts, and choices bringing them to justice's feet. Those who integrate justice's lesson will act with integrity and become free. We show up for ourselves, our desires, and for other people. The universe responds by greeting us with new possibilities and hidden delights. And then it goes into a meaning here. Work with effort, karma, the witch's rule of three. The energy you put out returns to you three times over. Taking responsibility, doing the right thing even if it is a tough, scary choice. Showing up when you would rather avoid the situation, doing right by yourself, facing the truth and owning up. And then the shadow would be the reversal. Um, I believe is what that is. Um, but here is a perfect example of showing you what is going on in the illustration and the meaning behind it. So not only does it give you a little um, blurb about justice um, and then a, you know, you know, a full length, a uh, couple paragraphs of what the imagery is, it gives you like keyword meanings as well. So um, all in all, I think it's perfect for beginners. It's perfect for um, any level that you're at. Just know that this is not going to be your typical tarot deck. It is not going to be a um, like love and light, uh, you know, something that you would probably use every day. I don't think, unless this is your aesthetic and this is how 
um, you like to read tarot. If you like the darker decks, if you like the, um, the shadow work, then this is probably a deck for you to use every day. Um, this is just my opinion, however. So, um, you know, if you're drawn to the concept, if you're drawn to the art, then by all means, like you go, go for it. Um, but for me, I don't know if this would be a deck that I would use every day, like my everyday witch tarot. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, but it is a deck that I will use probably once a week or a little bit more than that if I'm trying to work through questions and work through issues that I have with myself um, and like my anxieties and that sort of a thing. So I do think that um, it is worth it. I think that it is worth the $32 or however much you order it for. I think it was worth the wait for me. I love the art. I love the concept. I love the darker side of this. So, um, you know, if you're looking for that kind of a deck, I think you found it. Um, but again, it's meant for shadow work. You can use it as an everyday tarot should you desire. That is up to you. Um, I might start using it just to get the feel of it every day. Other than that, it might dwindle down. We'll see, we'll play it by ear. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway guys, that is what I think about this deck. I would love to know what you think about this deck. If you have it on its way, if you've already received it, if you've already looked through it, what do you think? Tell me, tell me, tell me um, in the comment section down below. If there is a deck that I have not already uploaded an uh, uh, unboxing or a review or that for, um, let me know down in the comments and I will try my hardest to get my hands on it. Um, there's a lot coming your way. I have been um, filming for a while um, as I prepare to start going back to reality for a little bit. Um, so there's a lot coming your way as far as um, unboxings and reviews. So stay tuned. Um, I will let you know down in the comment section if um, that particular deck is a video on its way to you or if, um, um, it's coming to me and I uh, already in the process of filming for that. So, um, I still haven't forgotten about the, um, tarot collection. Um, like I said, I'm just trying to, um, uh, film a backlog for a little bit whilst I, you know, prepare for reality again. So I hope everyone is doing well. Don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell on your way out of the video. That way you'll never miss an upload from me and there's going to be a lot more coming your way. So thank you so much for watching. I do so love each and every one of you and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.